everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Marie, I'm a graphic designer and on this YouTube channel I use Adobe Illustrator to create illustrations, 3D simulations, and branding. Today we have a cool tutorial. It's simple and beautiful. Use the type tool to create the word that you want to use for today's tutorial. I'm going to use the follow me. Change it to a script font that looks like a continuous line. Lock it and then use the pen tool to, re, uh, to trace the text. That way we have uh, our writing with a stroke. Because to apply this effect, we need a line. So I'm gonna use the pen tool to uh, rewrite this follow me. And I'm gonna use the uh, font uh, as a guideline. So it doesn't have to be um, obviously exactly like. And I'm gonna try to use a line to do most of the letters, a continuous line. You could just you could use like more than one line. Like I'm gonna use one line for the allo, one line for the me, and then a separate line for the F. Oh sorry, I'm gonna change this so you can see it to a green. Um, I like the effect better when the line is continuous, so uh, I could have put the F continuous as well, part of that uh, same line, the first one that I created, but I'm going to modify this shape a little bit, so I'm going to do it for last. Then use the direct selection tool to make any modifications to your two lines here. Uh, you can change the curve, you can move a, an anchor point. Actually, with the pen tool, I am going to attach the F to this line. So, a total, I'm going to have two lines because the F is going to be attached to the yellow here. When you're satisfied with your line, which is actually a word or more than one word in my case, uh, we're going to select the line and move it upward because we're going to unlock the text here and move it out of the way. Actually, you could delete it at this point. If you need to, make a few more adjustments. And when you're done, we can get started with our effect. Now let's use the ellipse tool to create a circle. We're going to change the stroke to none and the fill to the gradient that we want. In my case, I'm going to use a light blue and a dark blue, and I'm going to change the angle here. Then I'm going to make a dragged copy and invert the gradient. Then I'm going to select both of them, click on the blend tool, and it's going to do all these circles, and I'm going to double click on the blend icon to open the blend tab and change it to specific shapes and then a thousand, which is I think maximum. While it's selected, I'm going to make a copy, then I'm going to select follow and the blend and go to option blend replace spine now i'm going to paste this other blend select the me and the blend and go again to object blend replace spine so for every line you want to apply the blend to you need a blend line and that's all now it's selected i'm going to make this uh, bigger and i'm going to add a background to it by using the Rectangle tool, arrange, center back, uh, center the text here. And I'm going to change the gradient of the rectangle. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please follow me on Facebook and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye bye.